There's three different kinds of music in a movie, right? All composers have to deal with, at some point, dramatic underscore. I love you, the music plays. Go get him, the music plays. Dramatic underscore. Source music. There's a, there's a radio playing in the corner. There's a violinist in the restaurant. There's a piano player. Source, it's coming from a source. That's source music. Production music. Well, there's not a musical alive that wasn't pre-recorded because you don't do your audio recording on the set, you do it in a recording studio. So that's production music. And in the Karate Kid movies, you're talking karate and you're talking kid. So you go, oh, how Eastern am I, karate, and how kid am I? So you have to deal with this stuff musically. I mean, you have to think of that emotional carrier that you are, right? It's the anti-intellectual stuff. It's your, the emotion. And where are we? Uh, are we in the Orient? Well, no, it says karate. And we're, by the way, we're going across country. We're changing our life. We're being born again in some kind of way. So I can musically take you from across the country in some kind of musical way. In a stereotypical, in other words, there's little ways that we can say this is the West, this is the suburban, urban, this is that kind of stuff. There are musical ways we can do that, and in The Karate Kid, we do that. We get you from A to B, and we do it musically. Since having worked with John Alvison before, now the procedure come, becomes with John is that he sends me the dailies. I get to see, I'm on the ride as soon as he's shooting material and we're talking. This is very good because you can do a lot of uh, uh, pre-stuff, get, get a lot of thoughts out of the way before it's crunch time. And we do it orchestrally to not date ourselves. To not date ourselves stylistically. We can do that within the context of the movie, the source music. If we're in the 80s, if we're in the 70s, on the 40s, it doesn't matter where you are, but when the piano's playing, when the radio's on in the other room, it has to be of the dimes we're in. So in the 80s, we began a selection of what kind of music should be in that time period during the Karate Kid. The other aspect, of course, is Hmm, young guy. Do I have to really play young guy? Oh, old guy, old guy. Uh, sensei, master, old guy. Uh, reverend, old guy. Asian, Japanese, Okinawa, old, old guy. How do you do that? Well, Madam Butterfly is about the Arimba. It's written by some guy that was in Italy, Puccini. He never been to Japan. Uh, was that Oriental music? No. Not at all. It kind of sounded like it to him when he wrote Madame Butterfly, but that's Italian opera. Well, why does it sound oriental? Well, because he, he used a couple of tricks from that. So I says, I'm going to use a couple of tricks. Karate here. Karate here. Karate never here. You understand? I think so. Good night, Danielson. I love to do this panpipe thing. And there's a guy having a concert at the Ambassador Auditorium in um, Pasadena. His name is Zam Fear. He plays the panpipes. Do you think he'd do a session on an off day while he's here? So you call him, right? You only call because the guy could say no. Uh, yes, of course, I would I play uh, whatever. Fine, we'll send a car. Well, you do whatever you do, right? Boom. So now I got a pan pipe. All this running with John, of course. And I'd never uh, heard those things uh, before. And um, when uh, we started shooting, he gave me this tape and said, you know, give a listen, see what, what you think of that. And I said, boy, I put you right there. So I started listening uh, to that, and that inspired uh, a lot of uh, the visual thoughts. I shot that uh, scene where he's up in the on the uh, bow of the boat uh, with that strong uh, backlight. And, you know, we were able to get some really nice uh, images and you put it together with that uh, music and it's very effective.
He becomes a man. You know, the Karate Kid, although he went on for quite a while, the Karate Kid became a man. And in this particular movie, he comes together. And I had a theme for everyone, as, as I usually do. And it all kind of comes together. It's time for the Zamfir gentleness of the panpipe and the nastiness of the rhythm section and the guitars and whatever it was, by the time the big fight happens, it's supposed to all come together. And musically it's supposed to come together because I'm hoping that because it's that ultimate fantasy, that non-literate thing is going into your ears and I have control over your emotions if you're listening. Even if you're not listening, by the way, I think I can probably control you. If you're still sitting there in the 11th reel, you really want to be there. If you're gone, you're gone in the third reel, second reel. I don't like this movie. If, if you're there in the 11th reel, I got you. Warning for illegal contact to the knee. Finish him! The storyteller in John Avelson is a guy that I really not only love, he knows how to do that. He feels all that stuff. I feel it with him. He, if I lose my way, he, he, he shows me the way to go. So the association with John, uh, at least in the, in the Rockies and the Karate Kids, have really put us as soulmates. We really felt those things in the same way at the same time. And that, that's a big deal, because that doesn't happen all the time. And I'll always remember, uh, the, the Karate Kid was, was uh, um, very important uh, to, to my relationship with John. We really saw eye to eye on everything. And it was such a pleasure doing it with him. Thank you.